in 3D garbage this movie. But, but only the end. But only the end. <laughs> Hey guys, this is our review for the sixth Nightmare on Elm Street movie, Freddy's Dead, which... The final nightmare. The final nightmare, which had a scene at the end that was in 3D, which in Mark's box set came with these 3D glasses. They, they say Nightmare on Elm Street on the side. Yeah, they do. Not Nightmare on Elm Street 6, so when I got the box set, I had no idea what they were for. <laughs> this movie is by far... The worst. So bad. It is. I promised. I've been saying it like I think I've mentioned it like four reviews <laughs> that this is the worst one, and it's not like the fifth one, which actually was slightly better than I remember it. This was even worse than I remembered this movie. This, this movie is so garbage. This movie is a giant dumpster fire. Just a mess. Just it, a cinematic travesty, an atrocity being committed upon us. One through five all had continuity to say they all kind of were connected with each other well two not so much but not two. definitely the other ones yeah this one doesn't even fucking try it's funny because they it's only like they almost try because it talks about like kids and stuff and the guy the john doe character i'm not gonna try to remember anything other than maybe character names in this um he's kind of supposed to be jacob from the fifth movie the alice you know, kid. The, the baby, the they dream kinda, child. They kind of thought about doing that, but like it's like they didn't really want to connect the it's two like, for some reason. It's like reason. halfway they just decided, no, let's do a twist. Yeah, and then they like kill it's, him off, and like the movie becomes about someone else. But it, ah, it's so jarring, no, it's so awful. The the thing that I kept on comparing this to was like watching a Wiley e. Coyote skit. Because it's because it's, it's a cartoon. It's, yeah. It's the first movie. I mean, five had humor. Four had. Oh, they all had humor in all from the first one. They get less and less scary. This is literally a cartoon. Mm -hmm. There's a, one of the deaths, which is, I think, John Doe's death, that they have Freddy, like, pushing a bed of nails or something into the frame. He's and like, he literally, like, <sighs> leans back. He's like, ah, <sighs> And playing video games. And his, oh, yeah, he's using the video games as a Nintendo character. Power Glove on his claw hand, uh, yeah. which is kind of funny. That I, was fun. I, I don't mind. Oh, and then the, they actually fucking, like, the character actually puts on 3D glasses. Yeah. And they which, disappear when we all go into 3D land. And obviously it's this red and blue shit, which is just fucking irritating. Terrible for your eyes. Oh, when I take awful. these off, they'll be... Oh, my and vision like the flames, up. all everything that was oh, like white. Oh, yeah, everything white like, through the 3D was really hard to look at and hard to focus on. This film literally feels like the crew, at least the director, was on cocaine or, <laughs> or ecstasy oh. or something because nothing makes sense. Nothing, everything is like chopped to shit. There's a lot of parts where that you feel that there was something that was missing or they'll just zip through a scene really fast. Literally the, at times speeding up footage. Oh yeah, the uh, the uh, angles are really fucking awkward. The transitioning between different events is completely like uncomprehensible. Uh, it's and it. There's. I honestly. I will the, say this movie did. They gave a chance with someone. She's uh, Rachel Talalay or whatever her last name is. Um, she's the first female director in the series. Um, and they, she's been with the series previously, she had a couple other roles, and they gave her a chance to direct this movie, and... It did not work it out didn't, at didn't all. work out great. No, it, it's a fucking mess. One of the, like, the worst things in this movie is it's set in the future. <laughs> um, the movie starts with, like, a... It shows like a map of America with Springwood shown on it. So like, weird and like that weird like New York. the like printing. Yeah, it literally looks like they're trying to like reference Escape from New York. Like talk, in the near future, all children and teenagers have either died or committed suicide in the town of Spring. And I'm just like, what are you doing? And then it doesn't matter because there's nothing futuristic at all ex no. except maybe the no. Nintendo Power Glove, which was out in 1991. I'm pretty sure because I bet that's exactly what they used on his arm. This movie ends up with a lot of cameos though. We have cameos oh, from Roseanne, Roseanne and Tom Arnold. We have cameos Rose from Johnny Depp, Depp, who shows up, whose yeah. name in the credits, by the way, is like Oprah Winterbottom or something stupid and funny like that. Uh, um, we also have Alice, Alice Cooper, Cooper, 
playing Freddy's young Freddy's dad. And the guy who plays young Freddy, I actually like. I thought he played it super creepy. Yeah, he no. played it really well. I even like the kid who does the like slow motion hammer. Oh yeah, on the, the fuck when he was like, take this hamster, <laughs> kill. It's like the hand. kid playing the character didn't want to do that. No, he didn't. <laughs> He's not. like, no, like, oh, like, don't, don't make me. We don't have Alice in this movie, so we don't have anyone. No one's in it. Like not the, her terrible acting is not present. But we replace it with different types we, of terrible just acting. Just all kinds of terrible acting, like uh, over emoting, not yeah, emoting. The angsty. John Doe guy was like nothing but overacting. <laughs> Everything was overacting. The main, the, the chick who ends up being the main chick, who ends up she being Freddy's daughter, not she's bad. not bad. She's alright. But, all right. but uh, what's his name from Alien? He, Yafet Koto! Yeah, he's in... The he's, black guy from Alien is so awesome! I love it. For I some think. reason he has either ashy face going on, um, and, and that, or he's clearly reading cue cards. Also, the fact that, like, when they come back, I'm not sure they... One of the things, they kind of jump around. They don't really, like, explain how he knows what's going on with Freddy. No. Yet he's, like, when they go look oh. for him to talk to him, he's already in a Freddy dream. But one of my favorite parts is when he's talking about the serpent thing. He's like, ah, yes, the serpent. Ah, yes, the serpent. Ancient creatures of old and time feed off of nightmares. And that was it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> he puts on his glasses, like, four seconds. Um... <laughs> I just saw Caruso from CSI Miami in my head the whole time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> no, 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 it would be like, oh. bitch. <laughs> um, not enough bitches in this movie oh, for how yeah. funny it was. How no, funny it yeah. tried to the, be. It was like not the very first funny. three scenes could have had like, yeah, don't yell on the bus, bitch. We could have been dropping a bunch of good bitch lines. Oh fuck, this movie uh, should. They do have a couple the, that kind of work. Kung Fu licks. Bitch! That was great. It's and none of the deaths are cool, like Breck and Meyer. Hey, Breck and Meyer's in this movie. Um, Actually, you know, that was the thing. Like, when anyone... Yeah, yeah, when anyone died, it's like... Honestly, if you told me this movie was rated R, I would have called bullshit. It has the F word. It drops a bunch of F bombs. It drops a bunch of F bombs, but that's it. There is nothing that would warrant this movie aside from the titty shot that's in that's the credits. That's the Linnea sequence. quickly flashback titty yeah. shot. Yeah, because it's basically trying to remind you that oh hey yeah these <laughs> movies used to be decent. Um, aside from that, this movie is a fucking PG thirteen at most. And it feels like it, there's actually a scene where like uh, Yafet Koto grabs like the easiest torn off piece of sweater I've ever seen like this like perfect cut out of sweater and then he's like and we're gonna we'll be able to pull him out with this and then it literally fades to black like it's going to a commercial <sighs> no it is definitely probably it is definitely for the record worse. this review is so all over the place it's just like this it's terrible exactly we're movie. just basically talking about how much is uh, wrong with this and movie it's even there hard. are some uh, what, the I like Breckenmeyer in it I do. I will say there's some... And the the, the deaf dude's death was kind of Oh, the nifty. hand, like the hand change. There's some really cool, like, the 3D, the, there's some visual effects that are fucking awful. But <laughs> there are some, there's some, like, practical effects. Like when he chops off his fingers, yeah, he puts it down in the, the way he shot, and then all of a sudden his hand is back. It's a well done. Yeah. I even liked when um, when it's her dad, and he, like, sticks his hand on his phrase on him, yes. and the camera literally just pans. And all they did yeah. was have the actor step yeah. out, but it looks, it's well done. There's some cool it's, transitions, it's almost like but the, it's not worth The anything. DOP had some good ideas. Um, and that's it. But that's it. Like he only had those good ideas, and like, every other idea like, he had was like terrible. every like probably like maybe the seventh <laughs> line of coke that he snorted was the <laughs> good pops, idea. Of pops snort. a good idea into his head. <laughs> when um, when fuck it when he uh, when Freddy blows up and <laughs> just like the three D of the screen and the little worms are and yeah, the langoliers. Is it a langolier sperm in his head? <laughs> Yeah, actually, fuck, they did. And they, like don't really even, they don't really even, like, they don't even, like, they don't even explain they don't really what the fuck explain. that was. They talk about, they're the snakes, but, like, the snakes in the, the thing that Yafikoto has on his, wall like, wall are, totally are like, different. long snakes. These things are These little things short, are like little they tiny look like little twist, tadpole little twisted metal sperm tadpole. Bits. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're death metal yeah. sperm. That's yeah. it there. They're For death sure, this is by far the worst it's movie. It's so bad. It is a massive mess, <laughs> and if anything, this is well, this is why the yeah. series died because yeah, this of how is, bad this we, movie they is. waited. It's I think it's the biggest gap between this one and the next one because this is ninety one and the next one's like ninety four. Um, this had the biggest opening weekend 
and of then the it whole just franchise thing. except for Freddy vs. Jason. And you can tell that everybody watched this on opening night and then told all of their friends to never go see it. Even the like things we've said that we don't mind in this movie, like they're so few and far between. Like Jeremy fell asleep watching this at times. Like four times. It's so bad. It's slow, it meanders, it could have been 30 minutes shorter. It could have been an and it's only like an hour and 27 minutes to begin with. And you want it to be short. And you want you want it to be half an hour shorter. Like this should have been like this could have been an episode of Freddy's terrible ass TV show that I've never seen except the oh, first yeah. episode that uh, Toby Hooper did. Oh. Yeah, Toby mm -hmm. which oh. we could watch if oh, we could yeah, find we could. it. Yeah, if we could That'd find be fun. it. Um, that's but, the only one. I'm never watching any of the rest of it because they're terrible and I've never heard good things about them. Uh, so, for sure, for me, I'm going to give this a 1. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, if, if, if we can give it a 0.5, I'd be happy with that. Um, or like a 0. <laughs> yeah, it's, this might be... It's, it's so fucking bad. It is one of the worst movies I've seen in a long time. It is by far <sighs> the worst nightmare movie that we have it's watched. It's one of the, like, I'm watching a lot of shitty horror movies right now just for, like, fun. I did some, like, written reviews of some shit recently, too. This is, like, the worst horror movie I've seen. Because it's not even a horror movie, and it's not it's a comedy. Not. It's a meandering it's, piece it's of a... fucking steaming garbage. Oh, man. <sighs> Well, anyways, it's a, guys. It's a, like it's, I don't know how to say anything else yeah. in this fucking garbage. No, it's bad. I'm just but angry at this movie. <laughs> we are now past the... Well, we get so to watch my favorite the yes, next one. Like, we get to other watch, than Freddy vs. Jason. We get to watch New Nightmare next. New Nightmare, which that Wes one. Craven comes back. And, um, Heather Langekamp comes back. And it's like super meta before meta, even before... like, And it's Wes Craven, who like meta the hell out of the horror industry with Scream and revolutionized things. But it's like the one that kind of led to that with New Nightmare, and I can't wait for that. It'll yeah. it'll really help me watch the taste of this fucking train wreck Dude. out of my mouth. And now we're gonna go and take these off and probably have uh, migraines fucking, yeah. for the rest and of the night. And my vision will be fucked up for the rest of the night. It'll be great. Thank you, movie. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching this review, and we will see you in the next one. 3D. Bye. Bye. <laughs>